Suno AI is one of the most powerful AI music generators, but most people have no idea how to actually talk to it. In this complete guide, I'm going to show you how to master Suno in just a few minutes. The best thing is you don't need to know any music theory, music production, mixing, mastering, none of that. So first let's hop into Suno and I have a link in the description that will take you to Suno. And there are basically two different ways you can make music inside of Suno. Text to music, which is just doing a simple prompt and then music comes out. And two, using your own material, which can be lyrics or your own audio. So let's start with text to song. Most people would type something like sad piano song about my ex. So we're going to reshape this using the formula GMIV, which stands for genre, mood, instruments, and vocals. And if you want an easy way to remember the GMIV formula, I have this ebook called 500 Suno Prompts, which comes with 500 ready to use prompts across 25 different subgenres. And it includes tags for the genre, mood, instrument, and vocals across every single one of those genres. But let's go ahead and restructure this prompt. Instead of sad piano song, we need to think of a genre. A sad piano song could be in many different genres. It could be country, it could be pop. I think I'm going to go with pop. So we're going to do soft pop, acoustic pop, bedroom pop. And then for the mood, yes, it would be sad. So we could actually do sad, confessional, vulnerable, emotional, heartfelt. And I usually like to include the tempo with this too. So I'll just say slow tempo. And for instruments, we would probably do something like just piano, live drum kit, maybe some strings too, if we're trying to go like the Vanessa Carlton route. And now for the vocals, I like to describe the type of singing they're doing, like the actual techniques, like whispered, belting, falsetto, and then the emotion behind the singer. So let's say female vocals, soft delivery. We'll use vulnerable again, and we'll say close mic feel. We wanna like feel her breath on the mic as she exists exudes her sadness and let's put that it's about her missing her ex-boyfriend it's the same exact topic but now suno knows what genre the song is how the song is supposed to feel what exact instruments to use and how the vocals should be delivered i miss you in the quiet when the world's asleep your laugh still echoes where the silence creeps i could fill these walls with all but they wouldn't bring you back Not here Not Oh, the strings, they cut into my goo-goo Ugh, God it's scary that AI can do that to me. Let's do one more just to highlight this point. I'm going to actually make a song using this prompt, hyper pop song about fake friends. And now let's use the GMIV formula to up the ante on this thing. Genre, we're going to say glitchy hyper pop with early 2000s inspired synths. And for mood, let's do upbeat, energetic, dramatic, but playful and confident. For instruments, let's say distortion. Distorted, 808s, bright, catchy, synths, vocal chop, effects, glitchy, hard hitting drums. And for the vocals, let's do something like pitch, shifted, female, vocals, heavy, auto tune, confident, delivery, fast rhythms, not talking to fake friends. And while we wait for our upgraded prompt to generate, let's listen to the old one that was just hyper pop song about fake friends. But keep in mind, Suno is so good, it's probably a banger. Fantastic smiles, fake the All right, let's listen to the one with the formula. I don't talk fake talk. No, 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 I don't play that game. game. I don't talk fake talk. Fuck, fuck, do they forget your name? Game. Damn, it went crazy on the vo vocal chops though. So as soon as you can also use your own lyrics. So we're gonna switch over to the custom tab and let's make this a pop punk song. So we'll say pop punk, punk rock, uplifting, party vibe, summertime. I'm thinking like Blink-182 type of pop punk. Electric guitar, live drum kit, rock bass. And for the vocals, let's just say whiny, belted, angsty. And so there's two different ways you can do lyrics inside of Suno. You can click this magic wand and you can get it to write a full song but it usually doesn't write a great song or you can start with your own lyrics and then you can edit the lyrics and have Suno generate you some more so let's do that I'm gonna say verse 1 in brackets because that tells Suno that this is verse 1 and I'm just gonna write some terrible lyrics I saw you with that guy Amanda now I'm wishing I was the man to 
be the one inside your van again. I've been running from the pool you have, but I got a pool, <laughs> so I'm not sad. Oh, Amanda. You're never gonna see me again. We can do a pre-chorus. Oh, 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 no way. You're never gonna get it. Your name's Amanda. I'm sorry. I have nothing against Amanda's. That's just the name that popped up. Saw you with that guy, Amanda. Now I'm wishing I was Amanda. Be the one inside your van again. I've been running from the pool you have, but I got a pool, so I'm not sad. Oh, Amanda, you're never gonna see me again. Oh, no way. You're never gonna get it. Amanda, don't get love, cause she got it ugly much. So you can just imagine the possibilities with these. If you have like old songs that you've written and you just want to hear how they'll sound. And another thing you can do is upload your own audio or record your own audio. And then Suno will build a song around that. So I'm just going to record something. I've been looking at cheese so much, but cheese don't do good for me. Cause I'm lactose intolerant. I'm not lactose intolerant. I don't know why I said that. So we'll save that. And then you can either cover or extend. We're gonna cover, but basically what extend does is just adds to the last thing that you said or last part of the audio you said. So that's really good if you have like a verse and you're trying to come up with a chorus and then you can use Suno to extend from the verse to the chorus to give you some ideas. But my favorite thing to use is cover. So it already generated our lyrics and we're just gonna Keep our same prompt and get like a pop punk type of thing. Uh, 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 I've been looking at cheese so much, but cheese don't do good for me. Cause I'm lactose intolerant. I'm lactose intolerant. Another way this can be really useful is if you have like a guitar riff and then you want to hear what that would sound like with drums or extended into another part of a song and how the riff could change. So we're going to upload and record audio again and I'm just going to fiddle around with the guitar. <laughs> All right, then we'll do cover. And then I'm just gonna type in metalcore, post-punk, metal, guitar, riff. I don't know, nothing crazy, just so you can hear what it can do. I'm going to keep that audio influence at 50 because that seems to be the best place to keep it where it still keeps your melody, but doesn't take too much of like bad audio into consideration. <laughs> It's crazy how to go, how good it does with rock music. Say I can't even talk straight. I can't talk straight because <laughs> I'm gay. The joke was there. I had to say it. And now I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your damn noggin off. We're going to make an instrumental big band upbeat jazz. <laughs> Now you can go to remix slash edit and you can open it in studio and then you can do a bunch of crazy stuff. If you want to see more on Suno Studio, I've actually got a three part series called how to use Suno Studio like a pro producer where I go really in depth in it. I'll leave those linked in the description or somewhere. So I'll just give a brief overview here, but you can add individual instruments and Suno is going to take the song that we already have and use that to determine the context. So let's add a track and let's say you just want to add some vocal to the song jazzy crooner crooning the croon happy delivery male singer I wish I could stay in New York forever I left my wife in North Carolina so that I could stay in New York forever and then you hit create and then it'll create vocals all on one track by itself instead of an entire song I'm in New York. I'm having a great time in New York. I wish I could stay in New York forever. Matter of fact, I left my wife in North Carolina so that I could stay in New York forever. And then this just goes on and on with the stuff you can do. Suno Studio is really crazy. You can also do backing vocals. So we can just highlight a section, go to backing vocals. Ooh, do wop, do wop, ooh, do wop. <laughs> And they even have a replace feature. So let's say that you wanted that vocal to be copied with like an instrument or something. You can duplicate the track and then select the region where the vocal is. You can go to replace and go to brass and do something like lively, trumpet, jazzy, solo. Turn the audio influence up to like 50, I guess. And then it'll make a trumpet part that's like the melody of the vocals. <laughs> So 
So let's go back to the Create tab, and I'm gonna show you a few more advanced features. For instance, one thing you might not think about is the fact that you have all these different models to choose from. V5 is like the most up-to-date model, but a lot of people say that the 4.5 has a lot more experimentation and does a lot of different sounds, so you can choose between any one of these versions. And then you've also got things like Exclude Styles. Let's say you have an acoustic ballad, but you don't want guitar in it, you just want like acoustic piano. You could go to Exclude Styles, and you could put acoustic guitar. But in these advanced options, you have this really cool thing called the weirdness slider, which if you go up all the way, it just makes a bunch of messy, weird nonsense. But I kind of love that for sampling and putting it in my own music. But taking it around 60 to 65 has had the best results for me whenever I want something that's just a little more interesting and not exactly what I wrote down. And then you have this style influence where if you go up all the way, it'll stay to your prompt as strong as possible. But if you're on the lower end, it won't care about your prompt too much. It'll be like a red headed stepchild 100% is firstborn real son all the way to the left is redheaded stepchild. Are we allowed to say redheaded? Another thing to keep in mind is don't go too crazy with your prompts. More is not always better. Like don't try to put in like 10 different genres, unless you're trying to experiment, then whatever, go crazy. But try to keep it to like two to three genres and try to keep your moods consistent. Try to use the instruments that would actually be in the genre that you're using. Only add more words if it helps to better dictate your vision, not just because you want to add more words. So to recap, whenever you do your prompts, don't do soft piano song about your ex. Use the GMIF formula to speak in Suno's language. Try uploading your own lyrics and playing around with song structure. Try to upload your own audio. Try experimenting with the advanced features like the weirdness slider, style influence, and excluding style. So thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If there's anything else you want me to cover within the realm of Suno AI, tell me in the comments or I will learn how to fly a plane and I will fly to your house and drop off a care package of Girl Scout cookies.